Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily tarot reading. It will be for Wednesday the 21st of April or around then. Um, and it's for all signs as you know, so it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and leave what needs to be left. So um can also resonate a few days after it's released being a daily tarot reading. So let's see what we have for you. What is the message people need to hear the most, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Wednesday the 21st of April 2021. Message for all signs, thank you. What do people need to hear the most? Thank you, okay. So I have healing. A message of healing. Okay. So I'm going to pull the cards and see what message we get. So what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? What do people need to hear the most? And it will be for Wednesday the 21st of April 2021 for all signs. Thank you. So what do we have? What is the message? I'm using Classic Rider Waite today, my favourite deck. <laughs> Very well used and worn, I think, but love it. <laughs> okay, so what do we have? So we have Temperance. The Two of Swords. And Three of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Eight of Swords, lots of Swords energy, and we have the King of Wands. Yeah, bottom of the deck I have the Three of Swords. Yeah, Swords energy, you know, Swords energy is all about clarity, truth, it's to do with the mind, our mental perspective, how we perceive something. And it feels in this situation, I mean, it feels like some wounds have been inflicted. It could have been words used as weapons. Cannot, you know, can, there's a conflict energy here, you know, arguments, disputes, conflict, bad feeling. But there is an opportunity to reconcile with that temperance energy, an opportunity to pour oil on troubled waters and find a solution, find the way through a situation. It's where there may have been disrupted. I mean, the fives are all about disruption. They're all about generally negativity. And the more you focus on what the five represents, which in this case is to do with conflict, disagreements, arguments, the more sucked into that energy you get, you know? And this is about where there has been extreme emotions that can pull you apart. This is about finding that way through, you know, finding that way through a situation to find your flow once more and restore balance it's it's a moderate energy the temperance energy so it's almost kind of like where there may have been some conflict this is about bringing it back into balance but does somebody want to have that conversation because the Jupiterian energy in this Eight of Swords energy is saying that there is opportunity for expansion, growth, opening up, good things want to come into your life. But certainly with the Eight of Swords, when somebody only focuses on the negative, they remain stuck. And they remain stuck in their own head, not moving on from the conflict or argument. You know, there can be blocking with this energy, blocking other, not another person, not talking to another person. And now is the time to weigh up the situation. To face some truths. And to, this can be about making decisions, choices, 
as well. But it's almost, it sometimes appears when there's uh, an impasse, when there's a standoff. And it feels in this energy there's been some kind of standoff. There is an opportunity to bring things back into balance and that's what you're being told. And it, it feels there's been a conflict and I'm definitely getting this standoff here, you know, and, and there's definitely an energy of, of being stuck. We have the Three of Swords. There's levels to these cards, as you know. Um, I remember combinations of cards can mean different things as well. But the Three of Swords ultimately can be about a truth that's caused emotional pain. It can be a test of a relationship, whatever context this is, whether it's family, friendships, work, um, love, romance. The Three of Swords can be a heartbreak card, it can, but it's, it's levels of emotional pain, so disappointment, um, you know, uh, hurt, wounds and so on. But there is, and it feels in this situation, an opportunity to take action and rebuild your life in whatever context. Because that King of Wands is, is an energy of action, somebody who is in their power, um, somebody who understands how to take the lead. So it might well be somebody's making the first move towards offering some kind of reconciliation here. Uh, the Three of, of Pentacles can be a teamwork energy. So turning this negative into a positive. This is a card of rebuilding something. Now, if you don't see a way to actually rebuild something with somebody, this can be you rebuilding, you know? You rebuilding, you taking control, you taking the lead and healing. Allowing yourself to put your energy in the right direction to build something solid, stable, secure. The Three of Pentacles can be to do with homes, property, um, doing up homes, property. It can also be very good in terms of money, career, finances. But the Pentacles energy can be to do with health as well. Health, well-being. So again, it can be a card of rebuilding something, a team, a collaboration, maybe people who have fallen out. So the cards are saying that there's potential for that to bring things back in line, um, or certainly potential to rebuild your life in whatever context. But it definitely feels like turning something that wasn't healthy into something that is healthy for you again. Yeah. And that's what I'm getting. So I'm going to pull a final card. It might well be someone's making the first move here to rebuild something. So what do we have as a final message for the day, please? Final message for the day. Okay, I've got a few cards. <laughs> You know, the cards fall out for a reason. It doesn't really matter, um, you know, how many. But we have Owl Sight. Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. Interesting. We have the Fox Shadow Work. It's all following a similar theme, isn't it? We have There Are No Shadows Without Light. Maybe some of you are seeing the light. We have Crane Surrender. Let go of limiting beliefs. Oh, my goodness. What was I just talking about with that Jupiterian energy? Limiting beliefs that don't serve you. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Um, be as expansive in your thoughts as, as your soul is. Wow. <laughs> Giraffe, the bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. Again, I need to get perspective. And we have Lama, soul growth. Growth is never easy. Have faith and trust in the journey. I love those messages. They're all kind of following a similar theme. But it definitely feels that you have the ability to turn a situation around here, however it resonates for you. And build, rebuild, rebuild something solid. Um, again, it, it can be if something has been affecting your health or preying on your mind. I definitely feel there's an energy to do something constructive with this energy um, for the betterment of you. 
So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.